Who already know about Hitler first love? Comment down below if you already heard about Hitler first love. And don't forget to like and share our video for today. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to notify for my future BG content. Hello guys, and we are back again today for some additional information for our new topic about Adolf Hitler and his first love. According for some articles and documents, Adolf Hitler first love is named Stephanie Robach. Adolf Hitler and his first love, Stephanie Robach. Stephanie Robach was born December 28, 1878. Was an Austrian woman who was allegedly unrequited love and then teenage Adolf Hitler. A claim made by Hitler's childhood friend, August Kubisik. Her Jewish sounding maiden name, Isaac has been subject to speculation on this context. However, there is no evidence apart from Kobisek that Hitler ever had such an attachment. Kobisek, a childhood friend and later biographer of his childhood experience with Hitler, wrote about Stephanie in his book, Adolf Hitler, My Childhood Friend. He mentioned that Hitler fell in love with her after she passed by him during her daily daughter-mother stroll in Linz, glancing at him. In Kubisik's account, although in love with her to the point of suicide, Hitler never once spoke with her and she later married an Austrian army officer. Stephanie stated in interviews that she was unaware of Hitler's feelings towards her, and little is known about her life. The one-sided relationship has been discussed in many books. Some question the accuracy of Kubisik memoir, the only source of the story. Others accept that there is something basis of fact, but downplay the significance of the youthful infatuation, while yet others consider that it gives valuable insight into the development of Hitler's personality. Here is some additional background about Hitler and Stephanie. August Kubisek, a music student from Linz, first met Hitler when the two were competing for a place to stand during an opera performance. According to him, Hitler's passion for Stephanie began in spring year of 1905 when he was 16 and attending school in Linz and she was 17 Stephanie and it lasted until 1909 when he was 20. Kobisek described the first time he heard about Hitler's obs obsession as follows one evening in the spring of 1905 as we were taking our usual stroll Adolf gripped my arm and asked me excitedly what I thought of that slim blonde girl walking along the lanterns arm in arm with her mother. You must know, I'm in love with her, he added resolutely. Stephanie came from a family of higher social class than Hitler and was a year older than him. Stephanie had returned to Linz after professional training in Munich, in Geneva. She had a brother, Karl Richard Isaac, who was studying law in Vienna. In the 1950s, Dr. Franz Jetzinger had two pictures of Stephanie in her youth, one from 1904 and one in ball dress from 1907. As Kubisik describes her, she is a distinguished looking girl, tall and slim. She had thick fair hair. Her eyes were very beautiful. According to Kubisik, Hitler never spoke to Stephanie 
and always saying he would do so tomorrow, Kubisik wrote that Hitler loaded those who flirted with her, especially the military officers. Hitler insisted that Kubisik stalk Stephanie and delivered daily reports on her activity. Kubisik wrote that Stephanie loved to dance and had taken le lesson. Hitler disliked dancing, reportedly replied, Stephanie only dances because she is forced to do by a society on which she unfortunately depends on. Once Stephanie is my wife, she won't have the slightest desire to dance. And in June 1906, Stephanie allegedly gave Hitler a smile and a flower from her bouquet as she was passing him in courage. Kubisek later described the scene. I never again did I see Adolf as happy as he was at that moment. When the car that had passed, he dragged me aside and with emotion, he gazed at the flower, this visible pledge of her love. I can still hear his voice trembling with excitement and Hitler said she loves me and on the later years little is known about Stephanie's overall life she became engaged in 1908 to an officer in the Hessian regiment stationed in Linz on October 24 1910 Stephanie married Maximilian Rabach in Vienna. Maximilian was appointed captain on November 1, 1909. He was promoted to major on October 1, 1917. According to Kubisek, her husband became a higher ranking officer. She was widowed and after the end of the World War II, then she lived in Vienna. Stephanie was interviewed and Hitler's allied love for her dramatized in 1973 Austro-German television film called A Young Man from the Inviertel. She could not understand why, if he felt so strongly, have not given her indication of his attachment, saying Hitler would hardly have suffered from too much shyness. And about Stephanie's maiden name Isaac sound Jewish. Although she was not a Jewish, she was Austrian woman. Kubisik spelled it Isaac. The correct spelling was identified by Anton Joa Chim Staller in his 2003 Hitler's Listed. Some historians that Hitler would have assumed Stephanie was one of Jewish origin. American historian Graeme Donald believed Hitler would have inferred that she was Jewish. This view of supported by German historian Anton Joachim Staller, who stated in a BBC interview that Hitler must have assumed she was a Jewish because of her surname. I need your opinion and use our comment box about Hitler and his first love with Stephanie what you can say about it, about his first love. What if Hitler and Stephanie been married on the time? If the two of them, Hitler and Stephanie, been married together from the past, is their love can change the history, the dark side about Hitler history. If they've been together and married, is love can change the history. I need your suggestion guys. Don't forget to use our comment box down below. And if you like the story of Hitler first love, don't forget to like and share our videos for today. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to notify for my future video content and for the support of my YouTube channel. Until next time, peace out.